name's Dan Bielfield. I am the Activities Chairman for the Northwest Hills uh, District of the Boy Scouts of America. And today we have our Klondike Derby here. We have 175 boys from all over Litchfield County. And they're just, they're, they're traveling around from station to station. And each station has different skills that the boys perform. First aid, fire starting, which is kind of a challenge today with the wind, uh, shelter building, um, plant, and, plant and tree identification, which is a little more difficult without the leaves. Uh, we have a dead horse carry where they have to pick up a 175 pound weight as a group and move it several feet. Uh, and just a whole bunch of different stations that they're doing. And they earn points for each station so that at the end of the day, the top three patrols um, earn prizes from a Dutch oven to uh, a first aid kit. And I think the other prize was a cooking kit for the group. Uh, so, you know, kids are having a great time. They're, they're wandering around here in the snow. Uh, seems to be a lot of good spirit and everybody's having fun. This is the Klondike Derby. This every year with the Scouts. Uh, basically, the kids have a uh, imitation dog sled, and they are the dogs, and the uh, they run around from station to station, and. Some of them are games, some of them are to show off some skills. And I'm Joe Brady, I'm the uh, co-chair of the activities committee that put it together, and I'd like to show you around. Stations were usually named after cities in Alaska because of the, the whole idea is a gold rush theme and a dog sled race, kind of like the Iditarod. Uh, this particular city's uh, Skagway this year is a wildlife station. Kids have to come in and identify uh, different types of uh, Evidences of wildlife, footprints, tracks, uh, pelts, uh, bones, things that are left behind that they might find in the wild on the, at, at any given time. So we got three points for the turkey, one point for the crow, three points for the squirrel, one point for the mouse, two points for the two for appetite. This station, uh, what the kids are doing is uh, being graded on how well they can hang a bear bag. Uh, as you know, the, in Connecticut, the bear population is uh, increasing dramatically, and it's becoming a, a concern when we take the kids camping because they they love to have their pockets full of candy and, uh, and sunscreen and everything else. And uh, so we have to teach them how to make sure that they can have a safe campsite. Welcome to Nome. This is since we have the Gold Rush theme. One of the activities we have this year is called panning for gold, and the kids have to toss tennis balls over a, over a rope using, using a small tarp, and those tennis balls have to be caught by the other members of their patrol in a bucket. They score points for the number that they get and add that to their total score for the event. is named for the city Unalakleet, and I hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, don't ask me to spell it right off the bat, but uh, what we're doing here is a forestry station, basically a tree identification, uh, something that these kids need to know in terms of uh, what wood makes good good uh, material for this, that, lashing, or, or fire building, or what have you. Uh, so let's take a look. You gotta have love it. I gotta love it. The water goes down two to the bottom. That is marvelous. I love it. I absolutely love it. So every time they take a cup out, there's you, you, you throw a cup throw in. Throw a cup in, and you always have hot water no matter what. Oh, this beats the heck out of my coffee pot. My four-gallon coffee pot. <laughs> Oh.
friend for you for years. And he finally no. gave out, fell down and died. And missed an arm. And we need, now need to get him off the trail. So what you guys need to do is you need to uh, uh, cradle him. You can't just pick up an arm or whatever. You have to all work as a team and get deducted if you leave somebody behind or they're not participating. So you guys all have to work together as a group. Pick, uh, uh, cradle him, pick him up, go beyond the yellow line down there, um, and when you're ready, you can strategize for a few I'm minutes, gonna, gonna, and when you're ready to go, you tell me, you all stand up, and I'll say, ready, set, go, you pick up the dummy, and you take him and put him down after the yellow line. All right. And the thing is, usually the guys that go downhill have it made. Yeah. And it, it, they seem to go down. Okay. Maybe I'll put my skis on and come back around again when these are done. Huh? Please do. All right. We'll use some croissants, some apples. And if I was really on top of my game, I'd have a can of ginger ale. But I didn't know that. I just checked with another scoutmaster. He said, you need ginger ale on top. So this time, I won't tell. This is this video. Um, we'll just make them rustic today. It'll be uh, apples, croissants with some cinnamon on top. It'll be the, the lean version of apple turnover. Yeah, the chariot race, they have to lash together three poles into a tripod and then carry one member around on the tripod around the course. So they'll come out around that first blue, the second bluebird house, come up to this one and then back.